Here we're going to be using the Nikon FG loaded in with Fujifilm 400 speed and bring this across down, lock it into place, get it rewound tightened there and very carefully I'm going to bring this through here so that it catches and you can see how that moves in. Get this moved out so that it gets to the okay. And this is 36 exposure Fuji 400 color print film and we're going to be using the Nikon FG in conjunction with shooting it with the Vivitar 28 to 70 3.5 to 4.8 autofocus zoom the lens that can autofocus itself and we're also going to be utilizing the Vivitar 75 to 200 F4.5 constant aperture autofocus zoom, which also can autofocus separately, and see what we can come up with on that. And this here is the Nikon Niker Mat FT and we're going to be shooting that with black and white 100 T Max black and white film and utilizing as much as possible shooting it with the a Nikon 50 millimeter 1.4 lens seeing what we can do with this camera plug and white film and a Nikon nifty 50 so get this opened up and Maybe I'll try this one from this side. Get that down in there. Draw this across. Get that down in there. And lock the end. We'll close that up and get some tension on it. Okay, and that'll be all set to go, utilizing Kodak 100 speed T-Max, and we'll have to make sure whenever we put the film in the cameras that we uh, set the uh, ASA, or as it is nowadays known, the ISO, the film speed on here so that the uh, camera camera's meter can um, 
<coughs> no. Can uh, work properly.
And if I can bump up the speed of it here. Sixteen at two fifty of a second. In fact, maybe I will put it down to maybe F eight and get that up a couple notches here. Okay. here. And how does this work? Exposure one. Yeah.
and I'm going to do a horizontal here. I'm going to be moving in. I think we're going this for Okay.
Okay. One of the first cool things is this, the Vivitar 28 to 70 f3.5 to 4.8 auto focus zoom an auto focus lens that has the auto focus built into it which can be used on a manual camera and to show you how this works I'm going to have it auto focus without having a camera on it first off we uh, switch it from the off or macro focusing setting over to on and then it's on the single focus mode there's also continuous mode on there but it works on a appears to be like a sonar type of mechanism and uh, Open this up wide there, and uh, by pressing on this, I can get it to. Here we go. I'd like to have something to focus on. And it gets a little beep there when it has reached what it feels is focus. Yeah. And the focus mechanism, or rather the uh, zoom mechanism, sorry, is over on the side here. Goes from 28 millimeters to 70, and then can switch over here to macro mode. And so. Here, I'll, I'll put this out a little bit so that it be a little easier to see its movement. But you can see that how it can move. Now, uh, this lens here, uh, this and another lens I'm going to show you uh, were introduced, I believe, in the 1980s when they were transitioning uh, between manual focus lenses and wanting to introduce people to taking autofocus a bit more seriously. And this was a lens that uh, could, was offered, this is Nikon mount here, but uh, it was also offered, I think, in other mounts, and I'll try and find out what other mounts it uh, was available in. But it also had a connection here that's a regular uh, adapter here that could uh, fit normally into the idea being uh, that it could be utilized with uh, attaching to the proper flash connection on a camera And then, such as on this Nikon mat here, has a uh, find the connections on the other side here. And uh, that's for X and M. But um, the idea being that you could uh, connect up the cable here to um, the camera utilizing that um, particular connection and uh, you could use the camera shutters uh, shutter mechanism the, uh, to have the lens autofocus although I found that the it doesn't give you a long enough signal I don't think to really uh, be able to activate the uh, autofocus of the lens. But what I did is I had 
got a uh, regular a uh, proper end here where this could be connected up and then on the other end uh, I had done a little soldering and attached a little micro switch so that in if you were to attach this to uh, the camera itself, perhaps even like on the back for like a back button focus, and I had a little uh, Velcro on there at one point. Uh, by pressing it, you could activate it that way, and like so. And uh, so that's this lens, neat little thing for adding autofocus to a manual focus film camera. Now let me show you another one that they came out with, that's the, the uh, 28 to 70, but they also came out with this here. This is <laughs> the 75 to 200 Vivitar f4.5, that's a constant aperture, autofocus zoom. This basically does the same thing, gives, but gives you of course the range of 75 to 200 millimeters. And it too has a, uh, I'm going to switch it on here, switch is on on the single mode and it works the same kind of way you can press you can press that side button or you can utilize also connecting up with the uh, utilizing the cable method there, or using the side button, and um, these both utilize three AAA batteries each in their uh, battery compartments, and uh, they work fairly well. Uh, perhaps I'll and take some pictures with them so you can see the results. And Vivitar, they have put out some decent lenses uh, in their day, decent quality. And so uh, and that's what the these two systems are there.